Hey guys, this is Herpto Herpetology signing in for an American Toad care video. Uh, this video will also work for species of toads like Fowler's Toads, Southern Toads, and Oak Toads. Uh, but the specific toad that I have in this enclosure is an American Toad. Her name is Robin. And uh, let's just dig right into this. Okay. So some basic things that you'll need is a 10 to 20 gallon tank. I highly uh, recommend a 20 gallon, but as for right now, I have a 10 gallon. I used to, back when I had multiple toads, I used to keep them in this very large exoterra terrarium. Uh, but this is just a cheap uh, $15 aquarium that I got at Walmart. Uh, and you can use pretty much anything. I bought the lid at PetSmart for about mm, $10, $15, I believe. And you will need uh, UVA, UVB, and ugh, that's hot. <laughs> um, so you'll need a heat and UVA, UVB bulb uh, in there for them. You'll also need a water dish, substrate, hide box, and some decor. So what I have in here is just some moss that's scattered all over the place. I need to clean this. Frankly, I, I need to get rid of some of this moss, maybe replace it with some fake plants. But I also have some driftwood logs that I bought at Petco. By the way, I highly recommend not buying your supplies or animals at Petco. It's just a terrible idea. I had a neon tree dragon that I bought from Petco just, like, die the other day. And it, it like, he was eating and everything. I have no idea how he died. Um, it's just a shocker to me. But what I have here is a log hide, which still has the staples in it, but it's not doing anyone any harm. Uh, it's just kind of ugly. I have a nice big water bowl. Uh, you could use one that's probably bigger than this. Uh, and they are nocturnal, so be sure that at nighttime you don't use a night bulb because that will make them think, oh, if there's light it's time for me to sleep and they'll get too much sleep and they'll die at some point I can assure you anyway uh, please ignore the snail that I have in here let's dig right into this enclosure quite literally because there's substrate in here let me just move the light over here for a second uh, will you do that yes you will alrighty move the light up to that corner. Let's hope it doesn't fall. Occasionally it has fallen. Let's meet Robin, shall we? Hello, Robin. Now, to take care of your animals, you will need to mist your tank daily. I highly, highly recommend doing it before you go to bed um, because they are nocturnal and whenever it rains during the nighttime for them, they just love that. They come out, they play, uh, they come out to eat. Um, be sure to uh, put crickets in there before you go to bed and when you wake up uh, be sure to remove any uh, still living and remove dead crickets as well but especially remove uh, any live animals because when the toads go to sleep the crickets will probably attack their eyeballs and just attack them in general and do damage to your toads which is just not good you will need to give them clean water every day. I did just give her clean water, but it's already kind of dirty as you can see because she did go in there about 20 minutes ago. And you'll need to make sure their substrate is changed out at least once every month. I highly recommend doing it a little bit more often than that, but substrate is just so expensive. Uh, I do it just once a month and you know, I'm poor, so can't really do that very much. And you'll need to basically brush all the substrate off of their logs and off of their fake plants if they have any. I'm going to move in some fake plants in here as soon as I get rid of this moss, as soon as I can afford some fake plants. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, you will need uh, a tank, substrate, hide, water, some decor to make them feel like home and of course UVA and UVB.